edition of the news on canal the english i'm calling timorin i'll begin with our top stories of the day the intermittent alliance of volleyball will today play against the champions of africa egypt at the ongoing pre-olympic tournament in brazzaville congo the semi-final game comes amid tension and division in the lions event Singer David Brory has died at the age of 69 from cancer. His son, film director Duncan Jones, confirmed the news and a statement was issued on his social media accounts. Those were our top stories of the day. The details when we come back. Hello once more and welcome to this edition of the news on Canal the English. We take you straight away to the nation's political capital Yaoundé, where Cam has returned in Akono Afa Films, whom for months have caused panic and havoc in the town have finally been arrested. Inhabitants have described the arrest as the beginning of a new era in their uh, quarter. Let's watch this report by Tabby Claxon. Peace and tranquility has returned in the town of Akono. Akono, a locality in the Nyong and Fumo division of the center region. Kam is back in town after two separate gangs of thieves have been arrested by the elements of the National Gendarmerie and placed under custody. The first gang, a gang of three alleged bandits, was notorious in the robbery of motorbikes and household items. The three were operating as a team one acting as a spy, while others were busy going on with the operation. The three are presently in total disharmony as each is putting the blame of their arrest on another and each claiming not to be an accomplice. Another alleged bandit was presented to the press. He happens to be a disabled who is specialized in the production and selling of marijuana. He was arrested after he sold a good quantity of injured herms to some students of the Akono High School. Despite tangible proofs, he too is claiming his innocence. The commander of the Akono Gendarmerie Brigade, Syriac Njutu, says him and his boys will continue tracking all evildoers in Akono, while the divisional officer of the locality, Fidel Ngele, has expressed his joy following the arrest of these men from the underworld, whom for months have given sleepless nights to the population. Tabby Clarkson reporting. Youths of the Southern Day Adventist Church, that is in the nation's political capital, uh, Yaoundé, were on Sunday the 10th drilled on certain moral uh, values, uh, which will help them to be morally upright in order to serve their country in the nearest uh, future. And we take you to sports. We talk of volleyball. The Intermittent Lions of Volleyball today play against the champions of Africa, Egypt, at the ongoing pre Olympic tournament in Brazzaville, Congo. The semi final game comes from attention and division. In the Lions, then, Christian uh, Stefonkam has a rest of that story. After two difficult victories and a defeat, the Intermittent Lions of Volleyball will today measure up to the champions of Africa, Egypt. The heavy loss to the Phoenix of Algeria last week has left an impact on the minds of the Cameroonian volleyballers. What did not work with us was the respect of instructions. We also committed many individual fouls and it cost us a lot. In the Lions' Dane, there is tension and division. The team manager, William Kemfang, took upon himself to suspend the coach of the national selection, Peter Nolembroch, for indiscipline. I assume the decision I have taken and I will render accounts to the competent authorities when I will be questioned. I would not accept that Cameroon be insulted or trampled upon in my presence. Our country is a great nation. We do not have much money to waste, but we have value vis-à-vis -vis our country. So presently, it is the deputy coach, Mr. Mayam, who is the interim coach until further notice. The major objective today for the Indomitable Lions of Volleyball is to put aside all differences and as one united team vanquish the champions of Africa, Egypt, in order to qualify for the finals of this ongoing pre-Olympic tournament in Brazzaville, Congo. 
As the 2016 Junior Lawn Tennis Championship in Abuja, uh, Nigeria, on a good footing record in two victories and one a defeat, the Lundo Sisters will today descend on the court for the under 16 and 15 Cathedral Games. More with Steve Funkham. At the ongoing 2016 Junior Lawn Tennis Championship in Abuja, Nigeria, Cameroon is winning her way through. Lori Lomongo defeated the Nigerian Moses Flenor 6-1-6-0. Wamba Brunel won her Congolese counterpart Tomoso Brasning 6-1-6-1. The only defeat on the Cameroonian side is that of Ndoyan that fell to the Ivorian tennis player Kulibali 6-0-7-5. This Monday, the Lundu sisters will represent Cameroon on the courts. Linda Lundu is favorite of the competition and first in rank in the under-16 category. She will be playing against the Nigerian Ali Batlojan Mariam. Manuela Elundu, on her part, who plays in the under-15 category, shall be opposed to the Togolese Gwedi Serena. Wamba Patricia will today measure up to the Ghanaian MC Kole Noah. Meanwhile, Emora Lumogo will clash with the Ivorian Jacobo Oziziza. Nine lawn tennis players of the Cameroon national team in total were awaited in Abuja, but only seven traveled. Two of them could not make it due to financial difficulties. These are Gitekem and Mabre Paula. These pool games will go on until Wednesday, January 13. Eight players will then qualify for the quarterfinals scheduled to start on Thursday, January 14. And we take you out of Cameroon, a long-awaited eight uh, convoy has set off for the besieged Syrian uh, town of Madaya with enough basic food supplies to at least 40,000 people for a month. Residents have been trapped there for uh, six months by a government to block and have received no aid since October. Some have reportedly staff have been staffed too. The age of 69 from cancer, his son film director Duncan Jones confirmed the news and a statement was issued on his social media accounts, more with Crystal Katala. David Bowie died peacefully today surrounded by his family after a courageous 18-month battle with cancer. Bowie's hit include Less Dance, Space Oddity, Starman, Modern Love, Heroes Under Pressure, Rebel and Life on Mars. He was also well known for creating his flamboyant alter ego Ziggy Stardust. The singer only released his latest album Black Star on his birthday on Friday. The album, which includes just seven songs, has been well received by critics. His songs wrote Twitter, very, very sorry and sad to say he is true. He will be offline for a while. Love to all. Bowie's longtime friend and producer Tony Visconti said Black Star was the singer's parting gift to the world. He wrote on Facebook he always did what he wanted to do and he wanted to do it the best way. His death was no different from his life, a work of art. He made Black Star for us his parting gift. Tribute have also been paid to Bowie from across the world of entertainment. Brown Eno, who collaborated with Bowie on his album Low and Hero, said, What cannot express rest in peace, Bowie. Bowie collaborators Wakeman wrote on Twitter, As I am sure you can imagine, I got hearing of David passing. He was the biggest influence, encouragement I could ever have wished for. Madonna said she was devastated and that Bowie had changed her life. May he so rest in perfect peace. And Mexico has officially started the process of extravision to the U.S. of Kingpin Jacqueline El Chapo uh, Guzman. The authorities are said Interpol officials uh, served him papers at the Antiplamo prison near Mexico City. Guzman 58 escaped from the Mexican security jail in July and was recaptured on Friday. And that was it for this edition. Thanks for being part of it. News continue on Canal for English. Good day.